All right, so you now learn how to make the overall look of your website look a whole lot better. You know, a little bit of a learning curve with some of the themes. That's why I like using the simpler ones because there's, you know, it's, it's very easy to use them. And again, I'm very not technical. I prefer easy, so I go with the easy ones. If you're more technical or you want to take the time to learn the, the, the more difficult themes or the ones that take more time to learn, go for it. I just don't put in the time to learn that. And the reason I bring that up is because I want you to know that the way your website looks has little to do with how you're going to rank. How you're going to rank has to do with what I'm, what I'm going to be talking about in this series, not the look of your website. I've ranked the ugliest looking websites that are just horrible looking and actually don't even have great content on them uh, because I've done all the other things I'm going to teach you the correct way. Okay, So just know, like, don't get too caught up in the look of your website. If there are certain things that are off a little bit, don't let that be a deterrent for you. I've seen people get hung up on projects for months and months and months trying to get the design right and trying to get the look right when that has very, very, very little to do with how you're going to rank. Okay, so. I just want to make sure I bring that up because so many beginners get caught up and just spend months and months and months on design when you don't need to. Spend a few minutes on it. Find an easy theme to use that looks decent. Go with it. Take the 10 minutes to learn how to use it. Five minutes. Even some of them you don't even need to learn to use it all. And implement it and then just move forward. Okay. Don't waste months trying to figure out design uh, unless you absolutely have to down the road for like a client or for a really important affiliate site. In the beginning, that should not be a focus, okay? So we know how to make our sites look better now with the theme. Now I wanna talk about uh, actually looking like the, making the content look better, okay? Before I go into that, I wanna touch back on the post and page thing really quick because there's one issue that I didn't totally cover yet and that is the title of your home page. And it's gonna change depending if you use a post or pages and I wanna show you what I mean. So let's go and bring up our site. Whoops, I don't wanna go to the W, I don't wanna go to the WordPress dashboard, I wanna go to the home page. So let's go to the home page. And you'll see, right currently, it's it's using that theme I actually like, the simple one. Uh, and we have our post showing on the home page, and our title is Complete Beginner Workshop SEO Training for Extreme Newbies. Remember, we set that title in the beginning of the series under Settings General. Okay, so if I go to Settings General, Complete Beginner Workshop SEO Training for Extreme Newbies, that's what shows up for our home page title because that's what we set. Now. I recommend many of you use pages uh, and just pages and then assign a specific page for the home page uh, because this is going to be simpler for you to understand or if you grasp this you can do either way uh, just some people have a trouble grasping what I'm talking about and if you do use all pages and just assign one page for the home page what you need to know if you do that when you do that WordPress does not use this for your title okay they do not use this for the title of your home page. They use the page title that you're assigning. Let me show you what I mean. So let's go back and let's go to reading. And let's go back to setting it up as a static page for the home page. All right, so home page. And let's save it. And you'll notice that these posts are now going to go away and our home page page is going to show for the home page. All right, so when I reload. Now the home page is, we just set that. We already went over this, okay? But notice my home page title now is home page dash complete beginner workshop. So it doesn't use the settings general title, okay? That's only used when you set post to show on the home page. When you set the actual page to show for the home page, it uses that page's title, okay? So let's go to that page. And scroll down, and here's what it's using. It's using home page dash complete beginner workshop. Home page dash complete beginner workshop. Now, if I want to, I want to change that to what I really want my home page to be. And for me, I don't believe, I don't remember exactly what we set up. We set it for complete beginner workshop SEO training for extreme newbies, or something like that. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. I just hit the enter button. Or I can hit update. And now our homepage title will change to that, okay? Because we set the page title to that. So just understand that. See how it changes our complete beginner workshop? That's SEO training for extreme newbies. And that's also why I use the, the Yoast SEO plugin because 
it would have been a lot harder to change that uh, without having this here. I just have to click here, highlight it, and change whatever's here. So that's that's why I use Yoast SEO mainly, is just to control page titles a lot easier, and my homepage title. But again, be aware of that. If you're, if you're using post to show on the home page, you're going to control your home page title by settings general. If you set a static page for the home page, then you have to change that page's title to change the home page title. Okay? Just be aware of that distinction. All right. So now what we're going to go into is starting to make our site look better as far as the content goes. Okay? You know, we're, we're not going to make it look as good as um, uh, this site that we were looking at earlier. They got like, you know, uh, tables in there and all that stuff. And we're, just, we're going to make it look a whole lot better than it does now. Okay? So let's go in here. Right now, here's what it looks like. We just have random letters and numbers, and that looks horrible. So I just took an old article I have here on SEO, and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to throw it in here. Just pasted it in. I just hit Control C and Control V. Control C paste or copies, and Control V paste. Just quick, uh, very quick. Line this up correctly and update. We're gonna see it's gonna look a whole lot better now. So we have a you know we have some real content up there, and it's just gonna look better. So let's reload it, and there we go. So now we're looking a lot better. Look more like a real site, right? So. But I want to keep taking you through different uh, basic things you can do with WordPress without even using plugins to make your content look a whole lot better. All right, so let's go back. Let's start here. So let's highlight this. Remember, I talked about H tags a little bit. I'm going to talk about them a whole lot more when I start talking about SEO. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to an H2 tag. A head, it's called a heading tag. Now, basically, the lower the number, the bigger the text is, and the more important Google sees it as. Usually, WordPress takes this one right here and turns it into an H tag. I don't know if they do with this theme or not. Yeah, they see right here how home page is really big. So I probably actually change home page to something else. Um, so I can let's actually do that now, just so you can see what I mean. So home page. Like this is a real site I was trying to do. Maybe that's. Uh, now, I'd, I'd put in something for the H1 tag that I kind of want to rank for that's not in my title already. So we got for our, our page, our homepage title, we got this would be assuming we're trying to rank for like beginner workshop, SEO beginner workshop, um, SEO training for extreme newbies, um, SEO training for newbies type stuff. Let's do like step by step SEO training for new for beginners. Okay, I have SEO for newbies in my homepage title. So I just want to say it a little different way in an H tag, okay? And something that also fits with my site. So let me go ahead and update. And now that's going to appear as my H1 tag right here, okay? Bam. All right, so now it looks a lot better. And I have some good keywords in here for what I'd be trying to rank for for a site like this. But I don't like repeating what I have up here. I like saying the words in different ways, okay? So I could even say search engine optimization instead of SEO. Let's change that actually, just because usually I will do that. If I say SEO up here, I like using a different version of it here. So actually, I'll actually do search engine optimization. That's a little long, but whatever, it's fine. And I'll go into this specific, like what you want to do with this type of stuff later in the training. I'm just kind of jumping ahead a little bit. All right, so that looks good there. So now I usually only have one H1 tag on my site because um, if you use too many, you could you know play with over optimization penalties and things like that. So I'm not going to use any more H1 tags, but I'll use this and and do it for an H2 tag. So I'm going to turn turn to an H2 tag. Makes it a little bigger. Of course, I'd want to get important keywords in here. You know, SEO techniques would probably be important for me. Um, I can maybe do like new newbie SEO techniques. I don't know, something like that, whatever. You get the point. I'm trying to mix some different keywords in there. But it's just going to make it a little bigger and look a little better. So let's go ahead and update it. Right now, we're not really doing this for SEO, although I did jump into that a little bit. I'm more doing it to make the site look better. I'm just showing you different ways to help make your site look better, the basic functionality. Okay. We'll go into the SEO stuff a little later on. You see, it just made it a little bigger. Okay. It's just easier to read, looks better. Okay. Let's go back and let's improve it a little more. So one thing I like to do with my sites is I don't like long paragraphs, like especially like these here, they're just too long. People get bored with that. Um, they stop reading and it's just harder to read. So I like really splitting up my uh, paragraphs a good bit. Let's go 
here. I just want to show you how much better this is going to look and how much easier it is to read. I'm not going to do the whole article because it's like 2,000 words. We'll just do like the first, I don't know, 500 words so you can get a sense of uh, how this is going to look. Okay, so I'll stop there. And we'll just use kind of the top of this article as our example. So let's update it and I just want to show you how much better this looks already. Let's reload. And bam, see how much better that is and how much easier that is to read than this right here? That's 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 going to get people to leave. I mean, not as many people are going to read this as they do this up here. So it's much easier to read, much better for the eyes, and people do a lot better with it, okay? And to do that, by the way, all I was doing is, so if I want to do this one here, I'm just clicking where I want to do the next paragraph, and I hit enter, okay? And it takes it to the next line. So if I want to do one right here, I click before here, and I hit enter, okay? So that's how I was doing that. All right, so we got that. Now I'm going to show you some other basic functionality. You learn how to do an H tag. Let's do some bolding, okay? So let's do, maybe we want to bold achieving the best results for their websites or for their sites. Let's bold that. Let's see. Maybe we highlight eye catching. It's kind of making this look a little better. Splitting things up a little bit, right? Quality substance content. All I'm doing highlighting it and hitting the B to bold it. Very easy. Point and click. Have been you have been rendered useless nowadays and are not recommended for websites. Alright, so we did some bolding there. Let's do some italicizing. Alright, so maybe splash and flash. I'm gonna italicize, so I just hit the I button. Okay. Maybe I want to italicize flash again, highlight flash, hit the I, and it turns it into italics. See, it's hard to see with this uh, with this theme, but I'm hitting the italics, all right? So next, let's do maybe, let's add some points in here. So we would do point one, point, these, these would be SEO points. So let me actually write that, SEO point, like SEO tip, tip one. Maybe I'm listing SEO tips here, SEO tip two. SEO tip three, all right? But there's a way we can make this look even better. We can highlight this and hit the bolded list. Now they turn into bolded list, all right? And then maybe I wanna bold these, make it look even better. So I can bold, I can actually highlight them all at once and hit the B, all right? And it bolds all that, so it looks even better, okay? So maybe we do some design tips here. Design tip one, design tip two, Design tip three, all right? Now maybe I wanna turn this into a numbered list so I can hit this right here, numbered list, okay? So that's how you can do that. Uh, so now we're looking even better. We got some bolding going on, we got some lists going on, we got some design tips, maybe I wanna italicize this. Let's hit the I button. So we're looking pretty good here, right? Starting to look a lot better. Let's go ahead and update and see what we got going on. All right, so let me reload. Oh yeah, looking even better, right? We got some bolding, just better for the eyes. We got some tips laid out. People love bolded lists and they love numbered lists like this. We're looking good here, okay? This is looking really good. And of course, the content isn't good. Uh, it's just I'm showing you how to make it look better. And it's very easy point and click, okay? So let's add some pictures now. So I'm just gonna click here. I'm gonna hit the enter button. I'm gonna add my first picture right here. So let's go ahead and upload file. Let's select the file. And I'm gonna to go to my desktop. And I already downloaded some uh, pictures from shutterstock.com, which is who I use for my pictures. There's also free sites like you can, if you Google royalty, royalty free images, you can get totally free images you know, from sites like that. You can set your alignment here, left, right, and center. I usually leave it and, and do that once I put it in. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, you can put a caption here, which will show up with the picture, alt text, which is, I don't usually mess with a ton, but that's just like an alternate text that shows up if you hover over the image. So I'll show you, I'll show you what all this is. Caption would go here. I don't usually use that. Alt text, sometimes I'll use that. Um, SEO pick one, but I don't, I don't worry about this a ton. Description, usually I will put in a description. Just SEO pick one or whatever the case is. And let's go ahead and you can change the size here. Um, let's go ahead and insert it. And you see it shows up like this. Now, see a caption would go here. 
that's the caption part. All right, so if I want to delete that, I can click on this. I can click edit. And for the caption would go here, I can delete that. And that's updated. And now that caption disappears, okay? The alt text will show if I hover over this picture when I publish this. this. All right, and I'll, I'll leave that so you can see that. But there's different ways. To, so now I can click on this and I can align left and that will put all my um, text to the right of it. Or I can line it center where there's no text around it. Or I can line it to the right where text will be to the left of it, okay? Or I can do this where there's no alignment and it just shows up like it was originally. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to align it to the right. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. All right. Oops. I don't know what just happened there. That was weird. Never seen that before. That was weird how it just did that. There we go. I don't know why I did that. was just a little glitch, I guess. I've never seen that happen. All right, so we got our little picture in there. Now I'm going to do a different type of picture. Let's go and let's hit the enter button again. Let's add media. Let's upload. Let's select a file. I'm going to do another picture I uploaded, a third one. Now this one's like a longer picture, so I'm actually going to do something a little different with this. Upload. I'm just going to put it in the description here. That's usually I don't, honestly, I don't do alt text and captions a ton. Um, I just usually do a description. Let's see, alignment, I'm gonna do center. I'm gonna make this a little bigger. I'm gonna make it large and insert. And that looks pretty cool, right? Like it takes up the whole screen, it's right in the middle. Um, it's just a different type of picture than this one right here. All right, so now let's go and let's do another picture right here. And let's line this one to the left. Add media, upload file, select file. And let's go choose my last one. I'm telling me in this one, maybe search engine optimization pick. And then let's go ahead and do I want it large or medium? Yeah, we'll keep it large. Let's insert. If it looks bad, we can always go back and change it. Yeah. I don't want two large ones in a row, so I'm going to edit it. And you can do whatever you want. I'm not good with design, so maybe it would look better like that. I don't know. Let's go change it to medium. And let's update. And then let's align the text to the left, okay? So we're looking pretty good here, right? Probably wouldn't have these images so close together, but I'm just showing you how to make this work, all right? Let's go ahead and update, and you're now gonna see that we're looking even better here. I didn't use the best pictures or take the most time to make this look great, but you guys are getting the idea. Very simple to uh, start making your content look a lot better, all right? And there we go, looking really good, okay? I probably wouldn't have this like this. This looks a little weird here to me. But again, this is just an example. You guys get the point. All right. Actually, to help that make it look better, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy. I just want some more content in between there. So let's just copy this up here. Just pretend that this was up here before because I think that looks a little weird. I want it to look decent for you guys for this example. All right, so let's just go paste this in here. There we go. This will look a lot better. Maybe do some uh, bolding in here. Kind of, you know, break things up. I don't know how I like having the same exact thing too much. Let's go ahead and update and see if that looks a little better. Because I probably wouldn't have put these images so close together, but whatever. You guys control how you want your designs to look. All right, let's reload. And yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, it's broken up a lot better. Okay, so you guys get the point. Like, we're starting to make this site look a lot better. We had some images, we did some bolding, some italicizing, we did some bolded lists, some, you know, some tips. We bolded that, we italicized these design tips. Um, you know, everything's looking good here. Before, very, very plain. You know, just long paragraphs, plain, no bolding, no, like, just nothing is uh, broken up. This looks a whole lot better, right? Now there's a space in here. 
probably something that uh, I accidentally did. Let's go click here and hit the backspace. Oops, I deleted my, my picture. No. Let me put it back in there. So to do that, I can go to Add Media and go to my media library and use that picture I already had. And let's do alignment to the right. Do we want it large? Let's do medium. Insert. There we go. Okay. Caption would go here, so it, it put my caption back in there again. Let's go take that out. Let's delete our caption. I don't usually use that. Let's update. And bam. Okay. That looks a lot better. Has that space there still, but whatever. I guess I would have to put the picture down a little bit. So what I would probably have to do, let's delete this. And instead of putting the picture before this paragraph, I'm gonna put it before this one. That might fix that design issue. Sometimes you're running into little stuff like that, not a big deal. Let's go insert again. And this should look a lot better. Update, bam, eh, it did that space again. Uh, There we go, okay? Sometimes you just gotta do little stuff like that. Let's go ahead and update it now. I don't know why I was doing that. All right, and let's go ahead and reload and we'll see it looks even better now. There we go. All right, looking nice and clean. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some more features in here. So we wanna add a link, okay? So let's see. Maybe you wanna link out to Facebook, okay? So what I like to do is I like to actually go to the place I'm linking to and I'll highlight the URL and copy it. So just hit Control C. And then I go back to here. I just highlight Facebook or whatever I want to link out to. Hit this button right here, which is Insert or Edit Link. I paste in the Facebook URL and I hit Update. And bam, we have a link right there. Okay? So there's a link in there now. And you can link out to whatever you want. So maybe search engines. Maybe you want to link out to Google. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to grab this URL. I'll go back here, highlight search engines, link out to Google, and apply that links. Now we got some links in there. Okay, and you can link out to whatever you want. I'm just kind of throwing up random stuff. Let's update. And you'll see when I reload, we now got some links going. Okay, search engines. If I click on this, it's going to go to google.com. Okay, go back. Uh, this one right here, we go to Facebook. Right now, there's another thing you can do with these links. Let me re-highlight this. Let's go to edit. And usually, this is what I'll do with my links. Hit this little link option thing and open in a new tab. Okay. You usually want that, especially for outbound links, because if they're leaving your site, you still want your site to be in the window. And I'll show you what this does different. So let's go ahead and update that. Let's also update this one here. So again, I'm just going to click here, edit hit the link options and open link in a new tab and update. So now when we update this, reload, instead of when I hit this link, instead of it appearing in this exact window, it's gonna open up a brand new window and put it in that, okay? And our website still stays here. That way instead of them totally leaving our website, it just opens up a new window and they're still at our website, okay? So they can check out the link they went to and then just come right back to our website. Instead of it appearing here and them having to hit the back button and then just totally leaving our site, all right? So I always usually do my outbound links like that to other sites and to open in a new window. So just be aware of that feature as well. All right, so we got a link in there. Let's see what else do we want to do? What else we got in here? Um, there's no, I don't usually use that. Insert more. You can add forms, although I don't use this a ton. You got to guide this if you want to check out the forms and all that. Um, this bar here, you can uh, you can strike out text. So if you want to like strike out website owners, you know, strike out that text, put a line through it. Um, you know, they got horizontal lines. They got you can change your text color here. So maybe I want this to be red. I'll choose that right here, make it red. Um, I 
maybe give and take I want it to be red. Just highlight it and hit this again. Red. All right. Um, what do you got here? Paste this text. I don't use that. Format. I don't use any of these. You got special characters here. You know, indenting stuff. Um, I don't usually use these down here. All right. So that's mainly what I use uh, for that stuff. Now, also, I want to show you how to insert a video. So let's go to YouTube. How I insert videos, at least. There's different ways to do it, but this is how I do it. So let's say we want to find a video on SEO. Let's go to search. We're just going to use uh, this top uh, website right here. Actually, you know what? Let's go back. This is about SEO for beginners, so we'll use this one. Me with search engine optimization, so that way I can so, rank number one on pause. Google. And what we're going to do is we're going to click these double three uh, dots. I'm sorry, not double three dots. We're going to click share. All right, so we click share, and then we click on embed. And we're going to copy this code right here, this embed code. I'm just hitting control C to copy it. Okay. Now what I do is I go back to my, my page. And wherever I want to put in this video, let's say I want to put it after here. I'm just going to hit an enter. Okay, and that's going to put a little line in between these two paragraphs. Now what I do is we're at the visual editor right now. I'm going to go to, to the text editor, which is where the actual code is. All right, so let's click on text. Now I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to find where I put that space in between, and this will show up right here. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight that right there. It'll say NNBSP. That, that's like code for like a blank line, I believe. I'm just again I'm gonna make sure I have this this uh, copied, control C. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna replace that with that code that I copied from the video. Okay? Now when we click back to visual, bam, our video shows. Okay? And I'll usually click it and center it. Click it and center it. Do you want to rank number one on Google? Well I hate to say it, it's actually really hard. Ten years ago it No, it's not, Neil. What are you talking about? All right, so let's try centering this again. It's not centering for me. Sometimes you get little stuff like that. It might center at when it actually shows in the, in the editor. Let's see if it centers. Might already be center of page. There we go. Yeah, it's already centered. That's why it wasn't centering in my editor. It's, it's big enough for the whole screen. So then now we got a video in there. Okay, so we're looking really good. Look at this. If you want to strike out text, we got links, we got different colors, we got images. You know, we got bolded list that are bolded. We got a bigger image. We got numbered list, you know, more images. Got a video here. It looks really good, right? This looks really good, all right? Now, maybe for me at least, that looks good enough. Remember, you don't need to perfect design, right? And that's really the most of what I use uh, WordPress for. It's just so easy to do, you know, point and click. That's it. That's kind of everything that I do. All right, so you know, a little bit of bolding here and there. Uh, do some bulleted numbered lists. These are big. Bulleted numbered lists are big because number one, Google likes them, and number two, people like them. People love lists, uh, and it's very easy to read. Like when people come to your site and you, you know, have three tips. Instead of having like three paragraphs for each tips, they love seeing this. They love this. Google also loves that. All right, so implement that into your sites where you can. It not only does it look good, but it also um, it, it reads well and just it, it makes your site look better and is better for everyone. Okay, we learn how to change the the color of the text. We learn how to bold it, add images, you know, format, set them to the right, set them to the left, center them, all that stuff. And this is. How I do my sites. I mean, this is I keep it this simple. Now, again, I went over plugins earlier in this series. There's plenty of plugins that can do other stuff, like you know, for example, um, make a table of contents for you, uh, or um, you know, help you make like tables. Like for example, this table. Or this is a table right here. You know, you got dating site, bottom line, ratings, score, visit. Like it's very organized. To do stuff like this, you're going to use plugins. And don't worry about that right now. We don't need our sites to be this pretty right now, okay? I have sites that literally are um, worse looking than this site right here that have made me hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, this site looks better, at least from the top up, than some of my affiliate sites that have made me a lot of money, okay? So don't, 
get so caught up on all the advanced design features uh, that can come later on once you perfect the you know the basics and you learn how to rank and all that and then really you don't even need to not do this at all uh, at least to this level uh, and you can still make a lot of money all right so that is how you edit your pages and posts and again I did this for a page it's the same exact thing for post all right so let's go over to post let's just go to one of our posts we'll go to post one it's the same exact thing okay there's all the same exact stuff here for a post it's no different the only difference with the post is you can set categories you can add tags which is basically like searchable for your site um, and then the author will show when, when you make the post and that's it okay that's it and there's also a featured image you can use but we won't get into that all right it's just like the image that shows up with the post let me actually show you what that looks like so I might as well show you that feature because that is the one other uh, little difference. So let's go back to settings and let's change this for our post to show. All right, so we'll do our latest post. So now our pretty page is going to disappear because we're, we're showing our posts again. All right, so now our posts are back up and to get to our home page, we would have to click up here, home. Uh, or no, where is it? We have to click this right here. And now it takes to the home page, the home page page, but our actual home page is the post now because that's what we just said. Anyways, what I was just telling you about is, so let's go back to our post. I just want to show you what that featured image does. This is only used for posts. So let's go to our post one. Again, everything else is the same. Besides, there's categories you can put it in. So let's go ahead. Let's put this in an SEO category. Let's tag it. SEO post one, uh, maybe SEO for beginners. Maybe those are the tags we use. Maybe that's what the post is about. And the other little thing here is just set featured image. And let's just say we want to use this SEO image as our featured image. So set. Now we have a featured image set. And I'll just show you what this looks like. Let's go ahead and update. This is the only difference between posts and pages is these couple little features. All right, so now we're updated. Let's go and reload. And you'll see that now all that does is it sets this image as this kind of this post is featured image. So it, it just kind of makes it look a little better, you know, and then we could set a featured image for here and here, and it just looks better if you're using like blog posts for your home page. okay? So that's how you set a featured image next to it to kind of pretty up your site a little bit if you're going this method of just listing a whole bunch of posts on for your home page, all right? And as you can see, it's in the SEO category. I set that, and the tags aren't showing for this particular theme. Some themes it shows, some themes it doesn't. all right? So that is it guys, that is how you uh, make your pages and your posts look better. Very easy, that's why we use WordPress. You know, I answered, the, I asked this question earlier, you know, the why do we use WordPress and what is it? This is why we use it, it's so easy, it's point and click. People like me who are technical idiots and are not good at design, you know, I'm really bad at website design, we can actually make pretty good looking websites and that's all we need, all we need is pretty good. We don't need great looking websites to make a lot of money. Now, if you really want a great looking website, you can put in the time and figure out how to do it. That's totally fine. But I can tell you for ranking purposes, it's not gonna make much of a difference. For conversion, it can definitely help. Um, and that may be something you wanna do later down the line. But for me, I've never put a ton of time into it. And I've actually gone to hiring people nowadays. If I want a really good looking website, I just hire people to do it. But in your position, being brand new, do not worry about making your sites look great. Okay, please. I've seen way too many people um, lose focus and get frustrated and fall off course literally spend months of time on the look of their website when all you need is this okay all you need is basics let me actually go here this this is all you need and all this all we did for this was install a free theme right so we went to went to we went to uh, appearance we went to themes we just kind of searched through, we went to add new. We just searched through some of the themes. We went through some of the popular themes, maybe some of the late, maybe some of the favorites. Um, and we just found a theme we liked. And then we clicked on install and activate. And it changed the whole look of our site, right? That's all we did. And then next, 
we just went to our home page. Let's change it back to the actual home page we're using. Let's go static page. And then next, all we do is we just go to the actual you know, page we're trying to edit. And we just make it look better by pointing and clicking. You know, Pointing here, clicking uh, number list, clicking here and adding an image, you know, highlighting this and bolding it. Very, very simple, very, very point and click. And we did all of this within, you know, if I didn't have to explain this to you guys and I just kind of did it, this would have taken me 10 minutes. You know, like, and I would have had this site, which looks pretty good to me at least, uh, in 10 minutes. Okay, now, I think that's pretty cool, and I think that's really powerful, and hopefully you guys see it too. And of course, I can keep changing my sidebar to look better, and you know, add different images and pictures and links over there, just make it look better, and you know, you can even do like opt in forms and all that type of stuff, which I'm not going to cover in this because that's just beyond, that's more advanced stuff. But it's all very easy. It's all you, you know, it's all done by using plugins and, and things like that. So really a lot of the more advanced stuff like you know collecting emails and opt-ins and all that is just a process of learning new plugins, learning how to new learning which plugins to use and what they're for and how to use them. That's it, that's it. That's the only obstacle you guys got as far as uh, look and all that moving forward. Okay, you guys know how to build, you know, at least a, a pretty good looking website now. Um, and Again, I'm going to stress this one more time. Do not focus on making your site look great. It doesn't have to look great. Focus on making it look decent, just like this. Worry about your SEO. Get that down, then you can go back to design later on if you want. Okay. But most of my sites, again, are just about looking like this. No, no better. So just be aware of that, and they make me a lot of money. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. See you all soon.